it's really hard to kind of come forward and be like, this is how I feel. Yeah. And it's really important for the people around you to understand how you feel and accept how you feel. And you walk in being like Julie Title, which is like poke your head around the corner and you're like, Jesse, Jesse. And I'm like, who's calling my name? Like we're at a funeral. And I turn and you're there. Mm -hmm. And I walk over you and you give me a hug. And like, it's just, you relate, you, you become so much more deeply connected and relate to someone so much mm -hmm. more. And they become such, so much more of a comforting person when like, there's nothing, there's nothing held back and you just have conversation. Mm. I think that's like the biggest thing from mm. you is like I've learned a lot of things from you, but the biggest is just like be comfortable with people and like be who you are and if they can't handle that, mm. they're that's, not your that's person. on them. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just so happy I can be there for you in that moment and any others you need. I'm getting emotional, <laughs> sorry. Oh my God. So thinking back as a family of five, we never really talked about mental health specifically at all until we lost Jack. And then everything changed about how we have all our conversations, really. When I got into first year, huge lecture rooms, over 200 students. And obviously the competitive environment was established right away. And I think yeah. that sometimes the unfortunate thing is that because of that, you know, it's always get good grades, push yourself, sure. work as hard as you can. And I think that sometimes there isn't that, hey, by the way, are you also okay in addition yeah. to all the stress and pressure and the competitive environment? Right. And I think people would get surprised that how many similarities there are. Mm -hmm. Like we're all in the same boat. Everybody has school stress and you know, maybe I think that if someone were to ask and have that conversation started, I think that it would um, be really helpful to someone that was maybe struggling. I think that seeing you guys up and talking about mental health so much has encouraged me to talk about it more and it's also been really cool to see some of my own friends um, not only um, interested in what you're doing and what we're doing, but also involved in the Jack chapters themselves throughout the country at their own schools and seeing people just because they have one small connection recognizing the importance of mental health and then getting involved on their own and um, taking their own action like that is really cool. A lot of the dialogue that you're starting is not just amongst the students there, right? But again, that initiative that I attended, I noticed that there was a lot of uh, sort of conversation happening with like teachers and mm -hmm. administration at the school, right? Like I think a lot of people want to fix it, fix it, fix it. And that can actually be more um, difficult to hear in the yeah. moment. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's like the simplicity thing of like, it's not about fixing it. It's not about saying yeah. the right thing. It's about just being there. And yeah. Supporting that person, not trying to find a way to solve the problem. Mm -hmm, exactly. Um, you can talk about it and that it's okay to talk about it because the people in your community are talking about it and they're sharing their stories and they're showing you that it's okay to speak up and it's okay to get help and it's okay to come forward. It can be this simple, right? Like it can just be this s super simple, like part of our day check in. Right, totally. I think we should just keep having these conversations. It's so easy. Seeing my own friends talk about um, taking care of each other and watching out for each other has been really beneficial for me and my community as well. Mm, it's fantastic. <laughs>